but Western New York is now a few months into the grape growing season and we're not that far off from the very start of harvest. That's right. Meteorologist Leanne Byer checked in with the owner of Vineyard View Winery about this year's crop. This year, the grape season kicked off a bit earlier than normal because of the warmer winter. Now, with just a few weeks left until the harvest season, Adam Foltz, who is the co-owner of Vineyard View Winery, says that the season as a whole has looked pretty good. So far, the season looks pretty good. Um, we just got through bloom not too long ago, and all the fruit seems to have set pretty well. Um, we have had a little bit too much rain. Um, we could use we could use some dry weather, stay away from those high humid days. Um, we really need the 80 degree, 85 degree days and sunshine. Grape farmers need sunshine and dry weather to dry up some of the moisture in the ground to help the grapes ripen. Yeah, we're definitely looking for some dry, hot weather. Um, there's there's plenty of moisture in the ground right now. Um, the grapes are really, really thriving from that, and it would be nice to just focus on some, some heat to help ripen them at this point. Excessive rain is not their only concern. Wind can also cause damage not only to the crop itself, but to the equipment that protects the crops. We've seen some damage from the wind, not necessarily to the fruit and the canopy, but, you know, some of our trellis has fallen down. Um, we've broke some post wires. With the earlier start to the season, Fultz says that harvest could also be earlier this year. For some of the earlier varieties, they could start harvest come mid-August. The main focus now is protecting the crop and trying to calm them down. Doing all we can to try to get the fruit as ripe as we can. Canopy management is a big thing for us right now. We're trying to calm them down a little bit. That's why we need to dry up just a little bit and slow down some of the growth. Reporting in Cuca Park, meteorologist Leanne Byer, News 8.